Hey everybody, I'm Matt Timms, back here with another great video for you. And today I want to walk you through how to integrate um, ClickFunnels and MailChimp. Um, ClickFunnels is a phenomenal front-end software, and MailChimp is probably the most popular email list, um, email list software that most people use until they have more automation available. But if you're running for clients and just need a place to store them, a lot of local businesses have MailChimp because all they do is send email broadcasts. So you want a way to be able to dump it into their account um, on a consistent and reliable basis. So we're gonna start here in ClickFunnels. Um, if you head up here to the account and then go down to um, integrations, right towards the top there, and then you will see, I already have it set up, and I'm going to walk you through as if I didn't. We are going to go ahead and click Add New Integration. And the nickname, um, nickname is, let's see, if we go back here, the nickname is over here. So this is just a way for you to remember the specific version. So if you have multiple MailChimp accounts, this is for you to remember the specific version. And that it will always still say the actual software on the left here. So... For now, I'm going to go ahead and put um, test because I'm going to use the same ones down here. So this is the test integration, and then go ahead. There's only one MailChimp option. So we're going to select MailChimp, and then you'll see here that it asks for an API key. And we need to go over to MailChimp and get your API key. So we're going to go over. Um, you're already logged into your MailChimp. So then once you're logged in, you're going to go up here in the top right corner where it says your name and your company. And then we're going down, now we're gonna click account. And this pulls up here. And then the next thing we're gonna do, go ahead and hit um, extras. It's not integrations. Integrations is their, some of their pre-built integrations like Facebook or some other popular ones. Um, maybe in the future, ClickFunnels will have one of those. For now, we are in extras and then we're gonna go down to API keys. Um, API is just a long code that helps two different softwares connect, gives them kind of a window in. And I've already made one for this integration, but just for this example, we're gonna create a key right there. And then you'll see it's already made. It's as easy as that. And then if you go ahead and just click label right there, you can change it to whatever you want. And this is within the client and then, or whatever. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take API key, go ahead and copy that. I just did a command C on my Mac or control C if you're in Windows. So I'm gonna copy that whole API key, that entire string of numbers and letters and head back over to ClickFunnels and paste it into there. And then simply click choose integration. And you'll see it shows up there, it's ready to go. And then what happens next is you get to set it up inside of each funnel. So we're gonna go down here to a sample one that I'm not using anymore. This is for a manufacturing client. Um, let's see here. So if it's already set up at in the account level, then you just go inside of your funnel and then at the very top under settings, you can choose integrations. And then right here, you can choose between all of the different ones that you have connected already. Um, for some reason the pull down is not going. So go ahead and click integrations. You can kind of see it on the right side of the window. For some reason it's not showing up in the video, but go ahead and for me, I'm gonna select test and then MailChimp is in parentheses. And then you can see that change. And then under action, um, you can add to list segment. This just depends on how it's set up. You can select um, add to list segment, remove from list segment, add to list, remove from list. Most of the time, you're probably just gonna be adding to list, but if you have it stuff segmented well, you can do that fine. So I'm gonna add to a list, and then I'm gonna choose which list I'm gonna add it to. So for now, I'm just gonna add it to this one. And then you can choose on this bottom one, do you wanna send confirmation email? Do you want to not send confirmation email? Um, oftentimes, I am going to choose not to because it's just not set up. And then after that, it is ready to go. You can go back here. You go ahead and hit save. And it is ready to go. And it will 
um, integrate every single time. The one thing you need to be aware of is that um, ClickFunnels or MailChimp doesn't send you a notification when someone opts in. So just an extra little nugget here. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and smash the like button for this extra tip. Um, so the extra tip, we're going to go ahead and go to, um, let me double check. I believe it's, <laughs> we're going to go to settings. Do you see that settings at the top? And then we're going to go down here to Zapier and we're going to use this free function right here. Get or send emails for new ClickFunnels contacts. And what this will do is you can set up this zap to send you an email and send your client an email every time somebody completes the form on your ClickFunnels funnel page. So make sure you do this as well so that you get a notification because MailChimp and ClickFunnels will not do that. Um, I believe there is a setting in MailChimp where you can get notified for every new subscriber. But for me, I use this because I can customize the message a lot more than I can in MailChimp. So that is how you integrate ClickFunnels and MailChimp. Pretty simple process as long as you don't mess with the API key in there. So if you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe, make sure you smash that like button, and make sure you share this with all your friends. And if you haven't checked out some of the resources that I've left in the description, make sure you check all of those out. Uh, but until next time, happy marketing, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.